Welcome back, folks, for a new episode of Rapid Fire Elite. And today we'll quickly cover or recover the 121B. So, this is going to be the new tier 10 Clan Wars Reward Chinese medium tank. So, I already covered this vehicle a year and a half ago, and my main problem with it back then was that it had only 2200 dpm for a tier 10 medium tank. And that's super bad, that's really insufficient. But since then, they did buff the stats slightly and it's not as bad as before so today we'll take a quick refresher and see how well the 121b holds up against the other four options for the reward vehicle pool that's for clan wars so what is the 121b well it's basically an upgraded version of the 121 with a rifled 105 mm gun likely a chinese copy of the l7 it has better suspension and better frontal plate but Eh, finding actual blueprints and technical details about this vehicle is super hard because the archives are still classified in China. You cannot find actual blueprints or detailed documentations about early main battle tank designs for the Chinese. Also, this tank was developed during the Cultural Revolution in China. So back then, a lot of the universities, a lot of the archives, and departments of education were shut down. So... Yeah, records of this vehicle are super hard to find. Also, the prototypes were actually literally nuked on. So the Chinese took the defective prototypes and performed tests on them, such as nukes. So you're not going to find any other prototypes in display on some sort of public display or museum. Nope. So sad to say, but this is, or this vehicle is, the first generation of Chinese designed main battle tanks, mostly based on the previous Type 59, but still the first generation. Then comes the WZ-121. So it's not exactly the same vehicle. The WZ-121 is the second generation prototype for the Type 69. So small confusion there, but the 121B and the 121 is not exactly the same as the WZ-121. So, slight difference, but hard to find the archives for it. So here are the main stats for the 121B and the 121. As you can see, these two vehicles look very similar. So, eh, slight difference in the mud guards, but yeah, it's mostly similar tank. Now, as you can see with the collision models, the 121B is actually smaller, less fat, less wide than the actual 121. So it's not a T-shaped chassis cross-section, but the upper plate is 10 millimeters better than the 121. So effective armor is about 207, 208-ish to 188. So about 20 millimeter-ish better effective. Lower plate is the same, 80 millimeter sloped. So yeah, about the same lower plate. The turret is not as good as the 121 it's not as uniform of 240 millimeter on the turret so yeah the turret is not as strong and you could get penetrated with high penetration high explosive anti-tank shells onto this part of the cheek but uh, you should not get really shot at so uh, small details the side armor is the same so mostly the same 80 millimeters you do have a strip of 20 millimeter on the belly of the tank so it's not found on the actual 121 so don't get shot there you have a turret ring that's 57 millimeter but it's well sloped downwards so unlikely to get hit rear armor is mostly the same the turret is not as strong on the sides and at the rear so eh, it's all right but it's mostly a 121 with L7 Royal Ordnance Gun, so that's the layman's term for this vehicle. But let's take a look at the other stats of this tank. So here you can see penetration is slightly below average, but not much by one millimeter. Alpha is above average, but that's compared to the Russians with the 100 millimeter guns. Here is the new DPM, it's about 2400. So it's a lot better than the 2200 we covered last year, but still quite low i mean it's better but still kind of rough 
you could get it up to like 2600 with the gun rammer and stuff yeah but eh, other tanks have like 3000 dpm now so and that's the big weak spot about this tank carry 50 rounds and it's APCR so it does fly pretty fast high explosive anti-tank for the actual gold ammo so you can pen a little bit better with the high explosive tank accuracy is pretty good like the L7 but aim time is kind of long and the dispersion is not as good so kind of rough 5 degrees of gun depression 18 elevation traverse eh, pretty good it's a Chinese tank, so decent, average, and above average. Horsepower time ratio is below average, but that is counterbalanced with better terrain resistance. So it's like the Russian tanks. Yeah. Top speed is 50 kilometers per hour, so not as fast, but relatively okay. Reverse is 20. Health is average, 1950. Mm. 400 meters of view range, slightly below average, but above average camo rating radio is standard so let's compare it with the 121 just to, uh, yeah just to see how different but dpm is oh god about 500 less dpm penetration is slightly better but you have less alpha so oh my that's one shell that's actually one shell difference per minute that's crazy carries 10 more rounds apcr flies a lot faster Accuracy is better, aim time is better, but look at the dispersion. It's about the same dispersion. Actually, it will be worse for the full tur traverse. So, eh, better gun depression and elevation for sure, and slightly better traverse for the turret. But horsepower to ratio is not as good, counterbalanced with better soft terrain resistance, slightly slower for the top speed, view range, camo radio are the same health is the same so basically a one to one with better frontal plate less turret armor slightly and the L7 so is it really worth it well here are the difference between last year's analysis of this vehicle so as you can see slightly better turret traverse slightly better soft terrain resistance and better DPM so that's a buff, but is it really worth it? Well, there are five different reward vehicles for the Clan Wars reward section pool. So is it better than the other four? It has to be special enough to grab interest. The VK7201K is a backwards Lurve, so the Lion at tier 8. So that's pretty neat. The M48 pattern is different than the M60 pattern based on the hull. So you can see the difference between the egg shape and the actual slope armor of the M60 hull. The object 907 is a saucer, so super unique. And the T95E6, eh, it's like a T95E2 with a bigger gun. So is this vehicle special enough to grab interest? Well, it has the frontal armor, has the accuracy, and slightly above, terrain above average terrain resistance traverse and camo but very subpar dpm still i mean 2400 dpm for a tier 10 medium uh, yeah kind of rough horsepower time ratio is below average but eh, it's like other russian tanks so better terrain resistance to counterbalance and the dispersion ver uh, values for the gun is virtually the same as the 122 so nearly the same dispersion as the brutish russian type of a gun but it's the l7 copy so it should be more eloquent like the british right oh well but basically a one to one that trades dpm and six kilometers per hour top speed for better gun handling and accuracy and by gun handling that's the gun depression and that's pretty much it and better uh, aim time but you also have slightly better upper plate and turret sides on average, but eh, not really that much. So only 55.7 more DPM than the batch at. What? <laughs> and the main selling point is the frontal plate. So, and the gun control, which is different than Chinese medium tanks, but dispersion values is eh, the same as the brutish 122. So 
is it really worth it? Well, kind of feel juxtaposition. The armor is suited for brawling, but the gun's more suited to sniping. So what if you switch the guns from the 121B onto the 121? What if this vehicle has the actual 122? It's a lot better, amazing brawler. But then again, the 121 is already a pretty good brawler, so that's superfluous to think about it. So it's not even worth. So what about the Object 907 or the VK7201K being buffed? So those are the actual go-to reward vehicles for Clan Wars, whereas this vehicle feels not that special. But let's take a quick look at the VK7201K, and it's getting buffed. So here you can see that the AP penetration is going to be increased by 11 millimeters, DPM increased. So it's the same gun that's on the E100, and the E100 is also getting the same buff. So that's pretty awesome for the gigantic derp shell, the AP shell for the 150. So yeah, aim time is also reduced, shot dispersion buffed, so pretty good. Changes to the armor. We'll talk about the armor coming right up. More shells and better camo on firing in place or on the move. So here is the armor for the VK7201K. So here is 9.16. As you can see, 200 millimeters at the front, blah, blah, blah. The usual, very well sloped. And you're not going to penetrate the upper plate. But here is the super test version. It has 300 millimeters of upper plate armor. <laughs> What? <laughs> or at least 300 millimeters right here, and this is like 240. So you're not going to penetrate this frontal upper plate. Y no. <laughs> so yeah, a lot thicker frontal plate. You're not penetrating. And the side armor is the same. So 200 millimeters on the side. So armor wise, uh, yeah, very strong. So this upper plate, man, just broken. Side armor is the same. Yep. So mostly the same rear armor is also the same so you have the tracks and whatnot but it has 300 millimeters of upper plate armor this strip right here and this is 240 you're not penetrating so is the 121b a lot specialer if that's a term than the vk7201k uh, not really so here are all the vehicles in comparison you have the 121 right here and the 121B with the other four candidates, uh, Clan Wars reward pool. So the M60 pan has a different hull than the M48 pan, not an egg shape. The T95E6 has a bigger gun than the T95E2 and better hull armor and slightly better turret. And you have the saucer, that's the object 907. So doesn't feel really special enough compared to the likelihood of the object and the patent and the VK obviously so kind of disappointed now sorry about the clickbait of a <laughs> of a thumbnail my apologies but if this vehicle had the applicate space armor on the turret and the cage armor at the back with the side skirts similar to the type 69 without the ERA at the upper plate then this vehicle might look a lot more amazing so it's already pretty decent. I mean, looks pretty good because it's based off the T54 and T54 is amazing already. So and if this vehicle actually had applicate space armor on the turret or the cage armor or the side skirts, then holy crap, it looks a lot more amazing. So yeah, missed opportunity. But there you go, folks, the 121B. So is it worth it? DPM is kind of low, but if you like to play Chinese tanks with L7s, there you go. But I would rather, if I was playing Clan Wars, I would rather get the OP ass. <laughs> OP ness of the object 907, because a lot of players will get that first. Then they may choose between the VK7201K or the M60 pattern. I saw players play the T95E6 for like a week then quit. So that happened in April or May of this year, but nobody plays it anymore. So I recommend the object, then choose between the patent or the VK, but it's up to you. So the more you know, right? But there you go, folks. That's the 121B for you. So thank you guys for watching this video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Trying to hold on.